Hello, hello once again. Thank you for tuning in. And if it's the first time here, my name is Chandra and I hope this message blesses you or somebody out there. And today's topic is not an average person will never get to see success. So my father wants me to come here and talk about how he has designed all these beautiful things on earth to be ours. But most people, they choose to be lazy and they choose to, to, to stick to the old teachings that they were taught that we're not supposed to store our wealth here, but only in heaven. But I'm here to tell you that it's God who gives ideas to create wealth. It's God who has given you the love full of abundance and prosperity. And the more God blesses you, you will be able to help humanity here on earth. And God wants us to be successful. But the problem is, most people, they deal with rejection. And I'm here to tell you that spirit of rejection is one of the most expensive spirit. Because this spirit will make you compare yourself to others, compete with others, or even go out of your way to put yourself in death just to come and show off in front of your haters. But the Bible warns us of this, even the wise words of Solomon in Proverbs 22, 26, it tells us that do not be one who shakes hands and pledge or put up security for debts if you lack the means to pay. If you do that, even your very bad will be snatched from under you. In other words, Solomon is trying to tell us that debt has to be appro approached with extreme caution. Not just do it, go out of your way. Make yourself uncomfortable thinking that you're pleasing your haters because it doesn't work that way. That's rejection. Because what the enemy will do, he will traumatize you in your youth and break you so much in your youth that what will end up, end up happening to what happened to Elijah. Go into a cave, it's called comfort zone. You will fall so much into this cave and you'll be there, there not to come out. Every time you face with difficulties of this world, opposition or anything, you will be slave to your emotions, you make it all about you and your emotion. And this cave will deprive you from building a muscle to fight, to endure and perseverance. And this is very dangerous because that's what causes more trauma in your life. And that's not how God designed your life. And if you are in this cave, what will happen is you will keep on being in the vicious cycle, repeating the same information, same revelation, same knowledge, same foolishness and ignorance. But that's not how God designed your life. God has designed, has not designed you to be still. God has designed you to keep working, to keep moving so that you can go to the next season of your life. Not be stuck in one season, repeating the same thing like a robot. You're not designed to be like that. The problem is, most people, like I said earlier, there's so much plugged into their emotions and God wants us to unplug everything that is important of our emotions, including his relationship with him. Even when we pray, because sometimes, even if you plug everything to your emotions, there'll be times where you'll go into your room, you try to pray, and you won't feel the presence of God. It's like you're trying to get that emotional response. But the truth of the matter is, God will be there. And he'll, he'll be there waiting to see what you'll do. And in those cases, God wants you to acknowledge his presence. Know that he's still there. Go there, pray, or whatever your intentions were. If you wanted to worship, worship him and know that he's, he's there listening to you. And that's how you acclimate yourself to his presence. Not by your emotions. You just start understanding that you have a God that loves you and is always there by your side to listen to all your needs. If you want to pray, whether you feel the presence or not, go ahead, pray. If you want to worship, go ahead and worship. Because the Bible tells us in John 15, 5, that I am the vine and you are the branches. 
And if a man remains, remains in me, and I in him, he will bear much fruits, and apart from him, you cannot do anything. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, and above all we ask him for or think, according to his riches and his glory. So you see what God can do and his capabilities if you don't connect everything into our emotions. Whether we are uncomfortable, whether we are sad, or whether we are low in our spirit, we still need to push ourselves, go out there and do what God wants us to do. Because we need to understand that the will of God is still, and most importantly, his word is consistent. Can two work together unless it guy agree but most of the issue is that people they don't want to come in agreement with god they don't want to study the word they don't want to read that bible and every time there's a problem they become prophet hunters there's nothing wrong in consulting prophet but there's everything in the word of god if you take time to read it because even the Bible tells us in Acts 2.17 that in the last days, I'll pour my spirit unto man. And everybody, all my sons and daughters, will be able to prophesy and dream visions. So it shows you that sometimes you don't need to be going around being a prophet hunter. Because you can still get a word and a revelation when you pay attention to his word. But most of the time, those people who become prophet hunters, they end up being hurt, they end up become victims. Why? Because they didn't test the spirit. There's so many spirits out there that can still give you information of what you're going through, but they're not from God. And those spirits won't provide solution. But the word of God will provide solution for all your troubles. And it will give you hope. And it will give you that faith that strong faith of Abraham. But the problem is, majority of people, they're lazy. Even scriptures warns us, warns us of this laziness. In Proverbs 6, 6 to 8, it says, Lazy hands are for poverty, but diligent hands brings wealth. Do you know why most people are lazy? They always think that there's always shortcuts to wealth. Sometimes they do things that lowers their dignity and their credibility just to be there. And they end up being abused and used. Why? Or think that they can connect themselves their way to the top with successful people. Why they get used and abused? Because they become burdens in people's life. And nobody wants to deal with a burden in their lives. People want people who comes to their life and become a helper. It doesn't matter what type of help. Not somebody who comes to add burdens into your life because they saw you with something. They don't know how hard you work for that thing. And they think they can just connect their way and have the very same thing when God has given them the brains, the mind, and the hands to work it out themselves. God has given us brain to create wealth and given us wealth to work. Use our own creativity. We were created by him and has put potential inside of us. Heavens is inside of us. There is power inside of us. Power to do anything. Because when we do those things, we help humanity. We become a blessing, not a curse or burden to those that are around us. So I'm here to tell you that stay with God. Stick with him and he knows what you do, desires of your heart and he will give you the best of best. He knows what you deserve. God is looking for people like David. People who will say, I will store your words into my heart so that I may not sin against thee. People who draw close to him with their hearts not the mouth. People who are here to leave a mark here on earth for generations. People who are here to change the world. True servants. People who love him genuinely. 
people who trust him with their lives, people who know that they're supposed to be a blessing to humanity, to the world. They can only do that. Whatever God has planted in them, whether it's to educate people about money, to educate people about creating wealth so that nobody becomes a burden, people can know how to create those things so they can help other people to come out of that poverty mentality. God has created, he wants people like that. And I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters, an average person never get a chance to see success. Why? Because they have limited beliefs, limited mindset. But with God, all things are possible. He's the one who gives ideas to create wealth. He's the one who wants us to have a life of prosperity and abundance. He's the one who wants us to have a healthy, comfortable life here. But we can only do that if we follow the principles, which is the principles in the Bible. The, if you want to create wealth, the scriptures, and all you have to do is do your work, keep on reading these scriptures, meditate on them, because the word of God is true. His word is true. He never lies. Always comes to pass. You ruminate on the scriptures. If God said you are the head, not the tail. I'm the head, not the tail. I'm the leader, not the follower. Those words are true. All you have to do is to have faith. Your faith has to grow to that level to understand that it's achievable. Because all things are possible with God. God, you said I'm the head, not the tail. I'm the leader, not the follower. I will receive supernatural favor with men and God. I'm blessed. I'm favored. I'm a child of light. I'm this. I'm that. Those are his words. And if you keep on repeating those words, meditating on them, ruminate them until they become something tangible, you will get there. But most of us, we give up easily. We believe the enemy. We don't trust the word of God because we plug everything into our emotions. And if you could stop that, trust him, trust his word, and believe his word. All of us will see success here on earth. So I hope you've been blessed by this message. And if you have, please like and share, subscribe to my channel. And thank you, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Amen.